Hello and welcome to another video from Sustenance and Cover and the only channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it. And today's video is going to be about pawpaws. Pawpaws are a native species to the United States. In fact, it is the largest native species of fruit inside of the United States. And uh, here's what they look like. Of course, they got a ways to go before they're mature. But uh, I stumbled on these trees a couple of years ago. I recognize that the leaves look different than anything else. When I went to my tree book and my shrub book, I couldn't find anything about them. And so I decided, you know, I love diversity. So I saved two or three of them and uh, cut all the rest of them down. They didn't have fruit at the time. Well, last year, one of these fruits appeared, and then suddenly I got a little curious because it was a kind of big fruit. I never got to taste it because the squirrels got it. But in my research, the only thing I could find that would grow something like this was a tupelo. So I told everybody I had a tupelo tree. Just the uh, day before yesterday, I was at my mom's looking at her butterfly book. And it was talking about all the different varieties of swallowtails. And one of those varieties actually lays its eggs in pawpaws. And so... In the picture, I said, I've seen that plant before. And sure enough, I ran back over here with the book, compared it, went online. This is a pawpaw tree. And what's interesting is there were about 40 of these here, and I run over them all with my machine, my loppers. And uh, I felt really sick about it. But I walked around, and I found this one over here. So I got my lawnmower and cut all around it, make sure it was at where I could easily see it, put a flag by it. Started looking around a little more. I found these. And I found that. And before it was over with, I actually found 40 of these things. And two of them have fruit. So we're going to work diligently to clear away all of the debris and, and uh, weeds and vines and such from these pawpaws. So that we can have us a pawpaw patch. Now, the reason I never found these in the book is because these are listed as not living here. The closest these come to where I live is 500 miles away. So sometimes the book can be wrong. So don't limit yourself just to looking at pictures of plants that grow in your area because you could be surprised. You may find something that is supposed to not grow in your area. Now, prior to this, I had actually purchased some pawpaw trees and planted them in my lawn. Just so you know, pawpaw trees will not grow in a lawn they require shade they don't like shade better than sun they absolutely require shade now as time goes on and they start to produce fruit you need to get them a little light and a little more light a little more light that's usually the way trees work when they're fully mature you can give them a little bit of full sunshine part of the day but these are an understory tree of north america uh, the largest produced fruit in north america from a native species and uh, even though they're a native species, they're very difficult to get started. If you start them from seeds, I've already tried starting them in pots, they will not grow. I suspect that they have to pass through somebody's digestive system so that the acid can take that outer wall off of the seeds. Uh, a trick to getting by that, you, well, you could swallow them and just make sure to poop in the yard for a while. Or you can take some sandpaper or a knife and just nick the shell or the casing of the seed so that the water can get in there. I think that that'll work. I've actually got several of them in pots. I need to go through the dirt, uh, find the seeds, and attempt something different with them. They've been in pots for about six months, a year, and nothing's happened so far. But anyways, got about 40 of these pawpaw trees, also known as custard apples. Supposed to taste like bananas, but I've never tried one. Never seen one before I saw these. Don't want to survive, don't listen to me. 